We are continuing with to continuing with the Gemara now on the top of Daf Ches Amar Aleph in Brachos Brachos Daf Eight A. The Gemara is continuing its discussion of the idea that it is preferable for a person if he cannot daven with the minion in shul, he should daven at the same time as the minion is going on. And the Gemara says as follows: My dichsiv, what does the pasuk mean in Tehillim when it says, "Vanis vilasi lecha Hashem es ratzon"? davening at the time when the uh, davening is accepted. Amosai Ace Rotson, what is this time of Ace Rotson? Beshosh had Tzibor Mispal, and it's talking about the time when the Tzibor is davening. Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Hanina, Amar Mehacha. Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Hanina says the source is from the following Pasuk, Ko Amar Hashem, so says Hashem, Be'es Rotson in Yisichu, at the time of Ace Rotson, I will answer you, Rav Acha, Rabbi Hanina, Amar Mehacha, Hain El Kavir Velo Yimas, Uchsiv, Pado b'shalom nafshi mikarev li ki berabim hayu imadi. Talking about the fact that the davening is the, the davening is accepted ki berabim because you're davening berabim. There's a public. It's the time when the tzibur is davening that becomes the ace rotsam. The Gemara now says, Tanya Nami Hachi, we have a Brisa that says the same thing as well. Rabbi Nosan Omer, Rabbi Nosan says, Minayin Shen HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Moes B'Tfilosan Shal Rabbim, how do you know that HaKadosh Baruch Hu does not despise the, the Tfila of the public? Shenemar, like it says, Hein El Kavir V'lo Yimas, Uchsi Padu B'Shalom Nafshi, Mikarvli V'Gomer, the same Pasuk is the source for this Halacha. Amar HaKadosh Baruch Hu, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, Kala Osik B'Toro V'Gmilas Chasadim, anybody who is busy with Torah and with Chesed, who mispalali matzibur, he does Torah and kindness, and he davens with the tzibur, Mala Ani Olav Ki'ilu Padani Li V'Ulevanai Mi Bein Umos Olam. I consider it as I consider it as if he redeemed me and my children from amongst the nations of the world. And again, that is a reference to Pado B'Shalom Nafshi, this redemption. Amr Reish Lakish, Reish Lakish says, Kol mi sheyesh lo beis haknes es biiro. Anybody who has a shul in his house, ve'eno nichnas sham lehispalal, but he doesn't enter into this shul in order to pray, in order to daven, nikra shachin ra, he is called a bad neighbor. Shenemar, like it says, Kol amar Hashem al kol shachane haroyim hanogim benachla shen chalti es ami es Yisrael. So says Hashem about all of the bad neighbors who are in my uh, who are in my uh, heritage. Velo o, not only that, el shagorim golas lo levanav. Such a person causes gullus, causes exile to him and his children. Shemar, like it says, in any note, Shemar, at Muslim, Vespes, Yehuda, Otosh, Mitocham. Again, a reference to the fact that they will be uprooted from their land. Omar lay Amru lay le Rabbi Yochanan. They said to Rabbi Yochanan, Iko Sabi Bebavel. There are elders, there are older people who live in Bavel. So Tama, he was surprised. Viyamar, and he said, Laman yirbu It says in the Pasuk that your days and your children's days will be long. You'll have long life. al on the land. It seems to be a reference to the land of Eretz Yisrael. How could it be that in Bavel, which is Chutz Laaretz, which is outside of Eretz Yisrael, there would be elderly people? Aval b'chutz Laaretz lo. The implication of the Pasuk is in Chutz Laaretz, it won't be Laman Yirbu Yemechem. Kevin da Amri Le Mekadmi Mechashchi Levei Kenishta. But then they told Rabbi Yochanan that the people of Bavel get up early and they stay late in the Beis HaKnesis in Shul. Amar, he said, Hainu da Anilu, that is what helps them. Kid Amar Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi Livnei, just like Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi said to his children, Kadima Vechashichu, get up early, stay late. Va'ilu Levei Kenishta, go to Shul Kihechi, the Tarchu Chai, and this will give you long life. Amar Rav Achab Rabbi Chanina. Rav Acha says in the name of Rabbi Chanina, my what is the Pasuk? Ashrei Adam Shomea Lila Shaked Al Dal Sosa Yom Yom Lishmor Mezuzas Pischi. It says, Fortunate is the person who stays by my door, who guards the mezuzas of my entrances. Uchsiv Basrein. It says, After Kimotsoi Motsachayim, such a person who finds me, he finds long life. So you see, he finds life. So you see from this Pasuk that somebody who is up early and stays late in the Shul in the Beis Haknesses, he is Zoha, he merits long life. Amar Rev Chista, Rev Chista says, Liolam Yikones Adam Shnei Psachim Beis Haknesses. He says a person should always enter two doors into the base Haknesses. What does that mean? Shnei Psachim Sakadaitach. He enter in two doors. What does that mean? Ela Ema, rather, what it means is Shir Shnei Psachim. Enter in the amount, the length of two doors, that amount of space, Viachar Kach Yispalel, and only then you should daven. You should not daven immediately upon entering the base Knesses. 
Continuing now the two dots, Davches Amar Aleph and Brachos Al Zos Yispalel Kol Chosid Eilecho Laes Mitzo. It says every Chosid, every righteous person should daven Laes Mitzo for the time of finding. What does this refer to? Amar Rabbi Chanina Laes Mitzo Zuisha. This refers to the fact that a person should daven to find a wife. Shenemar, like it says, Matzo Isha Matzo Tov. A person finds a wife. A person finds what is good. Bimarava in the West Kinasiv Inish. When a person would get married, Kinasiv Inish Itasa. When a person would marry a woman, Amrile they would say. Say to him, Hachi, in the following manner: Matzah o, mo- o Motza. Did you find or did you find? Is this a matza or is this a motza? Matza dechsev, matza isha, matza tov, v'yafik ratzon me'ashem. On the one hand, what does it say about an isha? It says matza isha, matza tov. A wife could be good. So did you get a matza? Did you get a good wife? Motza, or it could be motza. Dechsev, like it says, umotza ani mar mimaves eso isha. I find the woman to be more bitter than death. The Gomer. So that was something that they used to say in the West. When a person got married, did he get a matza, like matza isha, matza tov, or was it a motza ani mar mimaves eso isha? Rabbi Nason Omer, Rabbi Nason says, La'es mitzo zu Torah. The Pasuk that we referenced above, La'es mitzo, is referring to the fact that a chassid davens to merit Torah. Shanema, like it says, Ki motzai motza chayim vegomer. Those who find me find life. Life referring to Torah. Of Nachman bar Yitzchok, Amar la'es mitzo zu misa, actually refers to death. Shanema, like it says, Lamaves totzo'os. So the chassid is davening for death, which we'll now explain in a minute. Tanya nami hachi. We have a brisa like this as well. Teisha meos u shlosha misa there are 903 types of death that are created in the world. Shenemar, like it says, Lamovis, Totsos, Totsos, Begematria, Hachihavi. The Gematria of Totsos is actually that number. Kasha Shebechulan Asachra. The worst kind of death is referred to as Asachra, Nicha Shebechulan Neshika. The, the uh, most pleasant type of death is referred to as, like Neshika, uh, that someone is uh, basically a kiss, the kiss of death. Asachra, Damya, Kechizra, Begavava, De Amra, De La Achore, Nashra. So, what uh, Rashi explains over here. Take a look up on top here. The, uh, Rashi says, "What is what is Asachra like? Kechizra begava de amra de la chore nashra. Keanve hasirim hanesvachim begizas tzemer. Keshadam notek bechazak o mashlech lo achor. She evsha shaloi notek hatzemer ima. When you're pulling out wool that's attached to something, the wool it's impossible to get it all out. It's difficult to pull it. Some of the wool remains back. That's the difficulty of the death of Asachra. It's compared to that." The Ve'ika uh, de'amri, and some some say kipituri befi veshet. So that that refers to these ropes that are uh, they're stuck again. It's difficult to pull them out of the hole that they are in. So that's the comparison of asachra. Neshika damya kemishchol benisa mechel. On the other hand, neshika the, the death by uh, neshika the kiss from Hakadosh Baruch Hu, That is similar. Rashi says here kemoshech nimas sar mitoch acholav. It is as simple as pulling a little bit of hair out of some milk. So the basic idea of the Gemara is they're comp- Comparing the difficulty of extracting the soul of different kinds of death, some are more difficult and some are easier. Rabbi Yochanan Amar Leis Mitzo Zukavura. Rabbi Yochanan says, you know what the Chassid is davening for? Leis Mitzo refers to a proper burial. Amar Rabbi Chanina. Rabbi Chanina says, my crow. What is the pasuk? Hasmechem Elai Gil Yasisu Ki Yimtsu Kever. They're happy because they found a proper burial place. Amar Rabba Bar Rav Shila. Rabba Bar Rav Shila says, Hainu Da Amri Inshi. This is what the expression is that people. Say li boy inish rachami afilo adzibula basraisa shalma. Person should say that there should even be peace with his life, even to the last bit of dirt that is put over his uh, his grave. Marzutra Amar Marzutra says leis mitzo ze base hakise. When it says that a chassid davens leis mitzo, what does he want to find? He wants to find a, he wants to be near a bathroom. Amri b'maravan. They used to say in the West, had Marzutra adiva mikulu. That which was said by Marzutra, that is the best thing out of all of them. Rashi explains here, You should live in an area where there is a bathroom nearby. The reasoning over here was that the land of Bavel was kind of filled with water. It was very, very moist. So it was difficult to dig over there. It was necessary when someone needed to go to the bathroom to go out in the fields to go very far away. And that's why it was important to Davin that so that there should be nearby by a base hakise. Amar le Rava le Rafram bar Papa. Rava said to Rafram bar Papa. Leimo lon mar mehani mili mal yasa de amrit mishmeh derev chista b'mili de bekenishta. So Rava said to Rafram bar Papa, can you say over some of the nice things which Rev Chista said that had to do with the base hakneses? 
Amar le, so he said to him, Hachi Amar of Chista, so says Rav Chista, Mai Dechsev, what does the Pasuk mean when it says, Ohev Hashem Share Tzion, Mikol Mishkinos Yaakov? God loves the gates of Tzion more than all the Mishkinos, all the dwellings of Yaakov. What does that mean? Ohev Hashem Sheorim, Hamitsu Yonim, Bahalocha, Yosem, Mibate Knosios, Umibate Midrashos. Those gates which are filled with the learning of Halacha, Hakadish Baruch, who likes even more than the Shoals and the base Medrash. So what happened over here was, he was asking him to say over something nice about the Beis HaKnesses, and he said you should know that Rav Chista used to say that as great as the Beis HaKnesses and the Beis HaMedrash are, Hashem loves the She'orim HaMetsuyonim Bahalacha even more so. And that's what Rav Chia Barami said in the name of Ula, from the day that the Beis HaMikdash was destroyed, What does HaKadosh Baruch have in his world? Only the Dalit Amos, only the four Amos of Halacha. The Yomar Abaya and Abaya said, May Reish have a Garizna Begav Beso Matzilna Bebe Kanishta. It used to be that I used to learn in my house and I used to pray, I used to daven in Shul. Kevon de Shaman al Hodom Rabbi Bar Ami Mishmed Ula. But when I heard that which Rabbi Chia Bar Ami said in the name of Ula, Miyom Shechor Bes Hamikdash, Ain Lola Akarish Borchu Bolomo, Ela Arba Amos Shal Halacha Bilvad, that from the time that the Bes Hamikdash was destroyed, Akarish Borchu only has the four Amos of Allah, Lo Hava Matzlina, Ela Hecha de Garizna. I only davened, I only prayed in the area where I actually. Actually learned because that is the the place where Hakadosh Baruch Hu is in the Arba Amos of Halacha, and that's where I wanted to daven as well. Rabbi Ami Ravasi Afagav Dahavalu Tleisar Be Kanishta Betaveria. Even though Rabbi Ami and Ravasi had thirteen Bate Knasios, had thirteen Beis Haknasas in Tiveria, Lo Matsli Ella Bene Amude Hecha Dahavigarsi. They only prayed in the area where they learned. Adam of Davchesam and Aleph, Yomer Rabbi Chia Bar Ami Mishmei de Ula. Rabbi Chia Bar Ami says in the name of Ula, Godol Hanenem Yegio Yoser Miyore Shemaim. Greater is one who gets pleasure, who derives benefit from his own work more than somebody who fears heaven from a Yore Shemaim. The Ilugav Yore Shemaim Ksiv. Because what does it say by a Yore Shemaim? It says Ashrei Ish Yore Es Hashem. Fortunate is the man who fears God. The Ilugav Enenem Yegio. But when it comes to somebody who gets pleasure from his own work, Ksiv, it says Yegia Kapecho Kis. So hell. Ashrecha v'tov lach. It says a double language. Fortunate and it is good for you. Ashrecha bo'olam haza. You're fortunate in this world. V'tov lach lo'olam haba. And it is good for you in the next world. Well, the gabe yorei shamayim v'tov lach lo ksiv be. But when it comes to somebody who is a yorei shamayim, it does not say the language of v'tov lach. V'yomer Rabbi Chia Bar Ami Mishmei De Ula. Rabbi Chia Bar Ami says in the name of Ula, Liolam Yador Adam B'Makom Rabo. A person should always live in the same area where his Rebbe lives. Shekolzman Shashimi Ben Geira Kaim, because as long as Shimi Ben Geira was alive, Lo Nasa Shlomo as Bas Paro, that prevented Shlomo from marrying the daughter of Paro. So therefore, you see that he should live where his Rebbe is. Vatanya, but doesn't it say in a brisa Al Yador you shouldn't live in the same place? Lo Kash, it's not difficult. Had Chayifle, Had Lo Chayifle. It depends. In one situation. Situation we're talking about where the uh, Talmud, the student, he defers to his Rebbe, that's when it's a good thing to live in the same area. When he does not defer to his Rebbe, it is not a good thing. Amar Rav Huna Bar Yehuda, Amar Rabbi Menachem, Amar Rabbi Ami. Rav Huna Bar Yehuda says, in the name of Rabbi Menachem, in the name of Rav Ami, Ma'idichsiv, what does the Pasuk mean when it says, Ve'ozve Hashem Yichlu, those who leave Hashem will, will be finished, will perish. Zeh HaMeniach, Sefer Torah, Ve'yotze, this refers to somebody who leaves when the Sefer Torah is out. He just leaves in the middle of the Sefer Torah being open. Rabbi Avo, Nafik ben Gavr le Gavr. Rabbi Avo used to go out between aliyahs, between people getting up to read from the Torah. He wouldn't go out when they were in the middle of reading from the Torah. Boy, Rav Papa, Rav Papa asks, Bain psuka le psuka ma, what is it with leaving between psukim? Is that okay or is that not okay? Teku, they leave the question standing. Rav Sheshes Mahadir Ape Vigaris. Rav Sheshes would turn his face away and he would learn. He would learn other things. Rashi says he would learn Mishnah when they were uh, reading from the Torah. Amar, and he would say, Anon bididon v'inhu bididhu. We learn what we learn, meaning the Talmud Chachamim learn Mishnah as they generally do. And those who are the Amei Ha'aretz, those who are not learned, they learn along with the Parsha. They learn the Parsha that is being laid, that's being read from the Torah. Amar Rav Huna Bar Yehuda, Amar Rav Yami, Rav Huna Bar Yehuda says in the name of Rav Yami, Li'olam Yashlim Adam Parshiyosav Im Atzibur, a person should always complete the Parsha together with the congregation, Shnayim Mikra V'yachat Targum, he should read the Parsha two times Psukim and one time Targum, one time translation, and we'll continue with some of the halachas of Shnayim Mikra V'yachat Targum and Davches Amid Beis in the next video.